Hello my purple banditos and welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode we defeated level 7 Jabu Jabu's belly and also obtained the switch hook. In today's episode we're going to see if we can find where level 8 is, although the Maku tree told us that she has no idea where to go. You have done so much for us! Our seas are clean and all is well! I offer you our symbol of heroism, the Zora Scale! So there we go, we got ourselves the Zora Scale. Not really sure what it does in this game, but I know that in other games it allows you to dive deeper. So it's kind of weird. I guess they just gave it to us as a present for rescuing, you know, Jabu Jabu. Now, before we go in search of level 8, there are a couple things that I want to take care of. We're going to find a couple rings around here. You know, rings come in pretty handy. And as you've noticed, the ring we have now, the ring of double hearts, whenever we kill a monster it gives us double the hearts has been very very helpful and I definitely want to get more rings because it only gets tougher from here and we're actually coming very close on a couple more difficult parts which I know we're gonna need as much help as possible okay let me go ahead and dive back down that was one of the rings in this area if I'm correct I believe there are about three rings that we can get today so we got the first one I'll see if we can find the next one and then we'll go in search of level 8 and level 8 is not going to be an easy peasy thing to get to. I have received a lot of tips from you guys telling me what I should do, where I should go. And, you know, slowly I began to remember what it was exactly that we had to do to get there. Now, remember this little house over here? We couldn't do much here when we first arrived. But now that we have all these new weapons and power-ups and all these sorts of things, we'll be able to obtain all the secrets below the sea. And I will try to fill up the map as much as I can. That's something that I was actually thinking about earlier. I know that completing the map is one of those things that I want to do. And I will probably end up completing it off screen if we don't end up hitting up all those parts. Because I know that some of those parts are just, you know, sections you walk through and things like that. So they're not too much of a big deal. So I'm going to try to fill up the map uh, as we go. Alright, we got ourselves the second ring. Now that we've gotten this one... I need to figure out where the last one is. I think it's somewhere around this area. I'm pretty sure we're doing things right. Let me go back into this portal so we can head back. It's kind of weird that, like, the whole world of Labrina moves. I guess they also have tectonic plates here. I mean, it's not just Earth. I guess Labrina and Holodrum... Well, no, Holodrum, actually, I don't think it moved. I don't remember if it moved or not. I, I don't believe when you change the seasons there was much change in, like, the physical landscape. I think other than that, everything was pretty much the same. Okay, so we're underwater here. The seas beyond here swallow up all who venture into them. The sea of storms, I can't allow a child like you to pass. The Zora scale, so you're Rodri, you may pass. I know not what lies beyond, and I ask not why you must pass. Fare you well. So I guess the Zora scale has given us a little bit of a representation, you know, a uh, little boost there. I guess people are finally respecting us. Who would have thought of that one, guys? At long last, after all the hard effort and all the work we put in, a man's finally getting some respect around here. You know, no respect. Uh, we saw that ship before. Uh, I think we should actually go into that ship. But before we do that, we got ourselves the third ring. I'll get it appraised later as the thing's saying. Now, let's go find this ship. Where did you go? Because I feel like we're going to have to board you. He, the, the ship tends to hang around here. So if you just kind of circle around, you should be able to see it eventually. Uh, I don't know where the heck it went. It must have... Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. All right. So let's go ahead and bump into the ship. And we've come on board. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Where is your captain? And if you play through seasons with me, this is actually a very old ship. Ahoy! It's been a long time. I didn't expect to meet you here. We've come all the way back from Olodrum, but we got stuck in this sea of storms and can't get out. Horror! You've got the Zora Scale Sea Charm. Hey, that could calm the sea of storms. How about you give me that Zora Scale? Okay. Thank ye. You're a good man. Ahoy, matey. See the spirit of seafaring man. Hey, hey, sir! Thank ye, now we can escape these seas. Take this as a sign of me thanks. It's the jewel called the Toki Eyeball. It's said to be the thing that opens the way to the ancient tomb. I don't know if it's true or not, though. Alright, so we got ourselves the Toki Eyeball. A treasure of the deep sea. You really helped us out, eh? We found that Toki Eyeball on Crescent Island. Maybe you should, uh... Oh, okay, so I guess we're going to Crescent Island? All right, now things are really getting a little bit confusing. I, if I'm correct though, remember when we first went to Crescent Island, I believe we did see a sort of statue, I guess you could say entrance, that was missing an eyeball, because I remember commenting on it. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to head there. Now, it's going to have to be in the past, because we, we went there. Whoa, so we're going to go back to this dungeon? Because we went there before. No way we're backtracking that hard. 
Because we've already defeated that dungeon. I don't remember what dungeon it was. But I know it was, uh, it was one of the first couple ones we did. So I guess we're going back to it now? I mean, that's kind of cool. We're going back to an old dungeon. So let's go ahead and place the other eyeball in here. And it looks like something is happening. All right, an entranceway has opened up. Let's make our way inside. Show your courage, wisdom, and power. The road to the past shall then open. Wow, that's actually a really good quote. I'm not gonna lie there. That was actually pretty inspiring. Show your uh, power, courage, and wisdom. I, okay, I definitely will. Let me go ahead and defeat these Gibdos. Ah, that's the one thing I hate about Gibdos. No matter how much you like hit them, they always come rushing at you. It makes them like so much more challenging, especially if you're low on hearts. At least I'm good on hearts for now. So I say, you know, until all of a sudden we end up going against... Oh, crap. What is this? All right. I'm running for it. I'm running for it. Oh, we're going to need a bomb. We're going to need a bomb. Let me drop a bomb. Let me drop a bomb. I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. Oh, crap. What is this? Uh, it seems like there are turtles here. There's a spinny disc. Oh, fudge. 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 Okay. There are a couple spinny discs. We made it through. What is this? Oh, man. All right, a magical walkway. Uh, let's just take a leap of faith. Ah, uh, that's not it. That's not right. Uh, you know what? I always thought this would be fun. No, I didn't. Equip Pegasus Seeds and then just see where you land. Oh, oh, we were so close. Who saw that? <laughs> yes. Okay, so there you go, guys. I just gave you the shortcut of a lifetime by using Pegasus Seeds and uh, let's just say, uh, you know, growing some uh, Gale Seeds, growing some uh, Scent Seeds. We managed to jump out, jump out of there. Was that it? That honestly could not have been it for this. Wait, is it? What the heck? What if what if we made it through here already? Ooh, look, there seems to be... This one's out of place. Let me put you back in place, buddy. And we have opened up something new. Let me check the map. Whoa, we are definitely headed to a new area. Because we have not... E Ooh. I love this music. We have never been here before. It seems like it's kind of a maze. And I hope I can find my way through it. I need to wh whoop out the sword again. Yeah, let me go ahead and whoop out my sword. I know something's coming. Something's bad coming. Whenever they put music on like this, you know that you're bound to get into, like, some serious conflict. So let me just keep on going through here. I've never even seen that. What the heck is that? It's like a lion. A lion with knives. Forget that. You ever see a lion with knives in real life? You run. You do not mess with that. All right. Let okay, so we're going to have to make our way. Oh, is this the right way? Can we push this? I have no idea where we're going right now. Look, there's something up there. How do I get there? How do I get on top of that? I guarantee you that's the dungeon. That's That has to be the level 8 dungeon. Now, the real question is, how do we get up there? Hmm. This looks pretty... Lion with knives, leave me alone. What enemies are those anyways? I feel like I haven't took them on in like any 3D Legend of Zelda game I've played. What is it? It's like a really low... What the heck? Wish I knew your name, because you're really strange looking. I wouldn't want to meet that thing in a dark alley. And have we made it yet? Yes! Okay, guys. So we have officially made it to level 8. It's packed to surprise us. This is the last dungeon of this game. So if you have any tips before we head in there, let me know. Or you just want to tell me how you're doing, let me know too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.